Hi everyone, I want to share with you my clothespin that Jules gave me. Thank you so much, Jules. I had such a fun time making this project and I love how it came out. Thank you so much. So basically what I did was I painted the entire clothespin with some white acrylic paint. Then I sprayed the entire clothespin with some moon shadow mist in the um, gossamer gold, which is a really pretty color. It has like a vintage distress look to it. And then I etched it with the walnut stain distress ink. And then I stamped the vintage girl stamp that I got from eBay. And Jules also had sent me my name with these chipboard letter pieces. And what I did with those was I used the starburst stains. And I used the colors from the autumn leaves um, set. And I love how it came out. And then I edged it with the walnut stain distress ink. And then these flowers, these are from the Prima E line, the hydrangea flowers. And I'll show you how I made those. And those are also using the starburst stains. And then this leaf here, I created that with the Stampin' Up! Oval Punch uh, with some white cardstock. And then I added some little Prima flowers. And then the center pearls are from these Making Memories um, little case here that you can get at Michael's. And then I added some pearls here. And these are from Recollections. And then there's some more flowers. And then some more down here. And then a leaf. Oh, a leaf's right here. So thank you again so much, Jules. I love this. And then I just... Um, placed my photo with Ashley and then at the back I got the Mod Podge and adhered it with these vintage bags and they're really huge bags and I purposely cut this part because I love coffee a lot and I saw this part and I loved it and then I edged it with some walnut stain and then I kept this part right here um, because that's the top of the bag and I like the way it looked and so that's my clothespin. So let me show you quickly how I created those flowers. And I got this inspiration from Tammy, and she's NS Snow Angel. So thank you, Tammy. Um, be sure to watch her video on how she creates her flowers. Um, mine's just a little bit different. Hers, she used it with a um, flower punch along with some design paper and water with her mini mister. This, I used it with the Prima Hydrangea flowers. And I buy these in a pack, and I get these from Angela from eBay. And I store my white Prima flowers in this container. It's just so much easier to get to, um, rather than having to keep opening these packages. And so that's how I store that. So I'm going to take two of, of the same size and then a smaller one. And no particular color. And this is why I like Starburst stains a lot, because when you mix um, the colors, no matter which set it's from, they just turn out really beautiful. And then you get a really unique flower um, with a different color. I made a couple of other ones. Here's one, another one I made. And then I made this one too as well. And these colors I like it because it would be perfect for Easter. And so I'm just going to daub. And then I'm going to take, that color was cocoa bean copper. And this is sea mist green. And I believe this one is from the, um, I think it's the Mermaid Seashell Collection, the set, I think. And then this one is the Autumn Maple Crimson, and this one's from the Autumn Leaves set. They come in a set of five. And again, it's Lindy's Stamp Gang.com. And I think I'll get the blue, and this one's from the Mermaid Seashell Collection, and this is the Azure Sea Asters, really pretty blue. So we're just going to cover the entire flower. Okay, and then now you're just going to basically curl it into a ball. You're just going to squeeze it into a ball like that. And then I just take my tray 
And I don't heat set it too long because, you know, my tray is plastic, so I just don't want it to fly away. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up the flowers. And be careful because they will tear because they are still a little bit moist. And this is what I loved about um, Tammy's flowers because with this, um, with this technique you can shape it however you want and the flowers will always look different from one another. And so it's just, I just love the way it turns out. And then you can also shape the leaves, the petals, however you want. You can make them bigger, you can um, make them smaller by squeezing them in and it just gives a really nice vintage look to it. And if you want to go darker, um, you can always daub on top of it again and then just repeat the same steps, you know, just curl into a ball and then heat set it um, if you're um, not satisfied with the color. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and heat set it again and I'm going to take my paper piercer this time. Okay, and then you can use glossy accent. I'm just going to use my hot glue. It just um, settles in faster. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of the pearls from this little kit here. And again, you can get this at Michael's. Um, let's do, let's get one of these, actually. Get one of these little flowers. Okay, just place my hot glue. Okay, there you are. You have a really pretty flower. And I love the way it comes out. And like I said, you can... Um, pinch the um, petals if you want them a little bit smaller and if you notice see how it's starting to become smaller it just it looks really pretty and then for the leaves all I did was I just took the punch and then I just punched some white cardstock I'm just going to punch one out real quick and then you can just spray it with some you know you can daub it with the uh, starburst stains. You can use glimmer mist. Um, this I'm going to use the hula hoop, and this is a really pretty green. I'm just going to spray the top and then the bottom. Okay, and then you're just going to same thing. You're going to squeeze it, and then go ahead and heat set that. Let me heat set it over here real quick. Okay, and then you're just going to take it out, and then you can just, you know, shape it however you want. Just kind of squeeze in the leaves there, and then just go ahead and hot glue that. And just place it right by your flower, so, and just pinch it. There you go got yourself a really beautiful flower. Thank you again, Tammy, for the inspiration, and thanks, everyone, for watching. Bye.